M0FXB, welcome to my channel, TYT9600 or the RT90 DMR VHF UHF radio. Some models have GPS as well. So it's a mobile set and we're going to have a quick look at the code plug. I've been sent this by M6LSJ. If you put that into Facebook, you'll find lots of code plugs stored on his Facebook page. We're also looking here at the Radiology page where they've got the firmware and the programming software to download and I will put a direct link in the description for that. So let's have a quick look. So the first thing you would do is go File, Open and if you need this code plug just send me a message I can send it you. See this one here, M6 9600, I've got a few saved here. So double click one there and it loads up. First thing we're going to do is look at General Settings, top left. If you look at the top left, general settings, you want to get your radio name or your call sign in there, your DMR number, all the other settings. I don't think I've changed anything on here at all, okay? Everything's pretty much as it was by default. Then we'll go to basic information above. That'll be your CPS version, hardware version, ETC. Now, I haven't got the radio yet. It's not coming for a few more days, but I'm practicing using the code plug. So you can see that it's VHF, UHF, like I said, some have GPS. Everything normal there. Menu items. Now, if you want to program the radio from the front, you do need to tick program radio here. Also, look, GPS, if you've got the GPS model, tick that. So if you look, we've just ticked everything. Yeah, we've enabled everything. Okay, you've got menu hang time here at the top as well. So when you select the menu button, if you want it to stay on longer, you can increase that time up and down like so. As you make changes, click the save button here, the little black save at the top there. So if you, you know, that way it will be better. You don't want to lose everything. We'll go past, straight past the text message. We'll go to buttons. Now you can decide what the buttons do here. So button definitions. So as you look at the bottom of the radio, you've got P1234. And you've got long and short press, look, short press. So decide what you want to use. Look at all the choices we've got. There you are, record, on, firmware, record, playback, scan, privacy, repeater. So all that, I think I think it has got promiscuous mode, this radio. I'm, I'm not going to know until I test it. Then you've got some one-touch access. I would say that's to do with the microphone. Don't forget, you've got a, a, mic, a, a full keypad microphone. So anyway, you decide there, and the long press duration, you can decide how long that is. Close that down for now. Let's go to digital contacts. That's the little green man there. Now these are all your talk groups that you're going to be able to use. And they're either private call, which is people direct look, and this is part of this code plug. Or, so that's basically their DMR number, and you can talk to them direct via DMR, or you've got group call, okay? Now, group call is all your typical, you know, your typical t worldwide, Phoenix, all that kind of stuff, Brandmeister, that's going to be mainly group call. So you can add, you can add contacts. If you double click contact, click add, and let's say we want to add, go to the bottom here, we'll do one, we'll put, Give it a name, chat, chat, and then we'll call that 235, group call there, look, we'll call it 2350. Okay, and that is one that's used, then go down to the next one. Look, it's saying it already, it's already there, so it's already there. Let's try another one. Uh, let's do chat one. That'll be 2351. Add, yeah, again, it's already there. So if it's already there, it's not going to let you double up, but you get the idea. You. You name it, the name it actually isn't the important thing. The important thing is the number, because imagine it's like phone numbers. No, you can't have two phone numbers. You can only have one per talk group, per person. So you get the idea. So you're gonna always need contacts. I'll show you why again in a minute. Then go down to double click zone. Each zone is a group of channels. So I've got my hotspots in this zone. And you can add on the left, you've got available channels that you can add into that group. And they've only got two hotspots, so put two in. But if you go to say Brandmeister, look, look at all these different choices. So, you know, it's, this co plug is extensive. Southwest Cluster, that was big in the day. 
and so on and so on but you can create your own zone you could go right click add create a, a new zone which will be at the bottom now that's the zone we just added you can double click it you can name it let's call it my new zone okay and then add what you have to add at least one channel look because it's a dual band radio and look at all the channels we can choose from so let's just choose one there add and then on the b band one there as well add that's it you've created my new zone okay a zone is groups of channels and you actually store and save the channel separately so what we do now is down here where it says channel information okay so these are all the channels that you create so you create a channel and then you decide where you want to put it so we've got a channel here let's just choose one randomly so if you want to create a channel this is a digital channel you choose up here digital you name it receive and transmit frequencies you don't put a shift yeah you just put the receive transmit contact name is, is when you key the microphone this is where you're going to be heard so this talk group is 860 any England okay but you can change that you can choose from all these other ones yeah and you create new contacts so just remember the contact is where you key and then you've got your color code now many repeaters use color code 3 color code is CTCSS repeater slot is like cutting the channel in half you got you can choose slot one or slot two so we try and find an analog repeater um, let's have a look now so many to choose from here's there's an analog simplex let's choose this and so you've got the name at the top analog here two meter simplex so you can add it to a scan list I don't really use scan list there's your art receive and transmit which is the same because it's because it's not a repeater but if it was you would have different but you're not getting any other information there because it's not DMR but you do need to put in your CTCS tone if it needs one so you tend to do the N code one here CTCSS DCS N code look choose your tone frequency TX signaling system, no, not going to use that. So it does do DTMF, but we're not doing that here. So when you select one, you've effectively turned on the tones. I know it's quite a lot to take in. If you want to add a brand new channel, on the left here, channel information, right click and go add, and then go to the bottom of your list. Now you might have a short list. And by the way, we've got marine channels in this code plug, I've noticed, and lots of others. So there's the new channel, it automatically named channel one. If I double click that, it will appear here. You can give it a name. So we'll go say GB3WR. This is analog, analog. And WR is 145.600. Receive, no, transmit is 145.000. And then the tone would be 94.8, like so. You've got squelch there if you want it. You can put it into a scan list, not that I ever use them. Um, timeout, yeah, you want that up a bit, really. You want that long higher than 60. It's 345 seconds, so it doesn't run out when you're talking. Power, just middle there. And I think that's okay. So you've created a channel, but you do need to put it in a zone or you're not going to find it. So what you do is go back all the way up, find a zone. Zones are groups of channels. It makes it easier for you to find them. So let's just add it into my hotspot. So we double click hotspot. I've only got two channels there, A and B. They don't have to be the same both sides, just the way I've done it. Go down, look, GB3WR, add it in. There you are, let's go back and create one more digital channel. So we'll go down, double click channel, right click, click add, then go to the bottom, You'll have a channel there that's been named. You've got a slider here that will be named just channel again. Double click. And this time we're going to do a repeater channel. So we'll go, for example, we'll go GB7FI. And I don't remember the frequencies perfectly. 
So we're just going to have to guess. So we go 430.8875. I know it's something like that. But there'll be a shift. And this won't be correct. Well, we'll go 439.8875. OK, just for fun, yeah? And we choose digital. Digital, which opens up this right hand side here. So we can start choosing contact. So when we key up, let's cho choose talk group worldwide. So when we key up, we'll, we will key up on that talk group, but we do need to select a color code, which tends to be uh, one on hotspots and slot two as well. Now it's saying about a talk group list where you'll, you could choose one of them. It means that when you're monitoring, if you put them all into a group and you're monitoring that group, you'll hear them all. But I tend not to use talk group list. I try to keep it as simple as possible because it's complicated anyway. So we've created a digital channel. Close that. We need to go back up to zones and add it to a zone. So we're just going to put it in hotspots for now. So when you're turning the channel changer on that, is it going to let me do that? Oh, it's probably already open down here. See that down here you have minimized windows. Hotspot, look, scroll all the way down, click across, and you've added it there. And you could add it on the B band as well if you want. If you go above and click, click add, and then you can add again, and then you save, okay? And then when you're done, I know there's a lot to take in here. You can go program, write data to radio. I'm just going to save for now because we haven't got the radio. And, you know, there's no quick, easy way to learn how to use a code plug and a DMR radio. It's really hard unless someone's programmed it forward for you, added all your hotspots and your local repeaters and told you, right, just use these channels. Then, then it wouldn't be hard. But if you want to try and learn to program it yourself, there's a learning curve and there's no, there's just no way around it. So thanks for watching my channel, closing down now, 7-3, all the best.